The topic of hell is so important for Christians because it's kind of the, the black sheep of theological doctrine, right? I mean, so many Christians, when they get saved, you know, they wrestle with hell, and, and a lot of Christians are really uncomfortable with it. And even a lot of non-Christians look at Christianity and see a lot of good about the Christian worldview, but so many people are hung up on uh, the way hell has been traditionally conceived and taught. And so understanding what the Bible says about hell is so important. I mean, it doesn't mean we're like, you know, hellfire, brimstone preachers or whatever, but, but the Bible clearly talks about hell. So we have to wrestle with what it says. And so many believers, believers and unbelievers, are really wrestling with, is this true? Can God send people to hell? Uh, is hell forever? Is, is this, does this fit with God's character of being a loving, forgiving God? If God offers forgiveness in this life, why does he not offer forgiveness in the next life? I mean, I mean, the topic of hell raises all sorts of theological questions. And so it's so important for believers to not just assume that what they've been taught about hell is correct. We absolutely need to not, not you know, ask the question whether hell exists. Hell certainly exists according to scripture, but we need to ask questions about the nature of hell, the duration of hell. The book Four Views on Hell offers four different perspectives on the nature of hell. And what I love about this book is that all of the contributors, all four contributors who disagree with each other, come at this question uh, from an evangelical perspective. They all derive their view theologically and, and biblically. And so it's not that we have like, you know, heretical views versus orthodox, view, orthodox views where we can kind of just dismiss, you know, the rest of them out of hand. We actually have to wrestle with these essays because each one makes a very powerful biblical theological argument. Uh, the four different views represented of course, we have the traditional view known as eternal conscious torment, that uh, the unbeliever will live forever in hell and will experience uh, misery and punishment forever and ever. Uh, then we have the annihilation view, where unbelievers will be resurrected and will face judgment, and after judgment, they will be killed, they will be destroyed. Uh, then we have the ultimate reconciliation view, which says that uh, unbelievers will end up going to hell, but there will be... Uh, an infinite opportunity to repent and accept Jesus in hell. And then we have this uh, purgatory view, which, which is really interesting. Purgatory is often associated with uh, Roman Catholic theology, but the, uh, the author is a Protestant. And he, he doesn't argue that purgatory is necessary to atone for a believer's sin, but that it is a necessary act of sanctification whereby a believer it, uh, continues his sanctifying process in order to be made fit for the kingdom. And so it's very important to understand that none of the four authors deny the existence of hell. And this is the misunderstanding, right? That, you know, if you don't hold to a traditional view, you're denying hell. All four authors believe very, very firmly and adamantly in the existence of hell, but there is a debate. I, I think an inter-evangelical debate about the nature of hell. And that's why I'm excited about this book. It's gonna force believers to wrestle with what the text actually has to say about hell. The interest in this discussion, it never goes away. In fact, this is why uh, we're putting out a new updated version of the Four Views book on hell. It, it, you know, in the last 20 years since the older edition was out, people are still asking questions. So we've enlisted a fresh list of contributors to revisit these, these questions and uh, provide you know, answers where it's gonna help believers to wrestle with this uh, question on their own, where they're not just gonna assume that they know what hell says because, because of what they've been taught, but they're gonna be forced to wrestle with the actual text of scripture to see which of these four views is correct.